Okay, so now what I've done is I've, we turned it upside down to attach the bottom ring, stainless steel ring with an 11 millimeter wrench. Uh, fairly tight, you can see that I have about an inch and a half of thread coming through. Then I retightened the middle one as well. And now I'm going to turn it back over to go to the other side so that you do this carefully, otherwise, you get it uneven. And in this case, we can proceed to tighten this top one perfectly. Um, I did it originally the other way around from the other two, so I will loosen that and change that around. Um, once you've done that and you make this perfect, you can leave the plastic caps on if you wanted to. You can also leave them on the bottom or not. I think at the top it is better to take them off so that the plastic bag has a tight fit. In fact, I have to take the belt off, the, the band, because we're going to put the band over the plastic um, bag. Next, before you put the bag in there, uh, let's touch this spigot. The spigot comes like this out of the box. You have to take this outer ring everything, not just the washer there, the, the nut, this whole ring comes off. That's the way, that is the way. Now, then you take this ring off, this, the nut off, sorry. You also take off the seal, the rubber ring. And what happens is you put this part, this longer part with this flange, that goes on the inside through the bag in the bottom of the hole. So you go through the bag, line it up, find the hole at the bottom of the bag, knit, pull it nicely over that, then put the rubber ring over this, and that goes through the, from the inside of your rain barrel through the hole. Um, and if you can't reach that hole because of the way we're doing that, you may want to carefully lay the rain barrel back down and um, you may be able to make sure that you have the shortest distance like that going to the rain barrel. So what I'm going to do is just sort of show that that's the short distance that needs to line up. Push your, push this through there. Then what happens next is you push this up and loosely tighten this for now. It doesn't need to be all that tight at this point because you can do that later. The, then you can set your bag back up, the, the rain barrel back up, and you line your bag up, making sure that your liner so goes all the way over the top, all the way around. about an inch over the top, whatever it where looks good, maybe an inch and a half. You will know by how tight it is where the spigot is. And then, when you're about even, you put the, the top band back on, um, making sure that it is in the same direction as the other one was before, other two are before, and tighten it. And you may uh, indeed have a little help with this so that it all lines up the same way. And then you tighten the band. The same way you did the other bands. And once you're done with that, we will go to the other two parts um, of the spigot. Next, put the barrel on the side again, and then we're going to insert the tap into the brass fitting you put in the wall. Now hold it on the inside and turn the tap into the thread. Now what you're going to do first is line it up basically with the bottom. And actually, maybe don't go totally towards the bottom, because it might go there anyway, and then you take the wrench and you hold the inside as good as you can and you tighten the nut, the big brass nut, as well as you can. 
And usually when you get that pretty tight and hold it on the inside, you will not leak at that point because of the rubber. And then you're done with that. I got that very tight. By the way, you can put your hose straight on here or the end of your hose or take this off and put the hose straight onto the tap. So you do have a little nozzle that you can put an open-ended hose onto. Now we go back to the top and we are going to, here you have your hole. There's no pre-cut hole in the liner. All you need to do is take a knife and make sure that the stuff is flat and then cut an X basically in the hole that is in the back here and this will be for the spout. Here is your assembly for your gutter spout and there's a what is important here is that you this is the stuff that goes into the well this comes from Germany and is standard with an extra washer in there. That washer is not essential and in fact because of the thickness of the wood that washer needs to be discarded. Just throw it away. You don't need that. Put this hose through the back. The hose can be trimmed to length, to any length you want. And then simply attach this washer. This goes together like that. Through here and then attach this with and then again, if you want, you can tighten it a little bit more with your a set of pliers. And you need to make sure that you have that set on the right spacing. And then you're all done with the assembly of your ring rail. Now, of course, you have your lid that you can put either way, two half lids. And if you want these very tight, you are getting four little screws supplied with the with your uh, with your rain barrel, and you can just screw them on both sides into the wall if you want them permanently attached to really make them very tight. One thing we also like to remind people of: empty it out in freezing weather. If you get free frost in the winter, hard frost with daytime frost, you need to empty these out and not let your water stand in it during the winter season. Uh, another thing is for maintenance, these have absolutely no preservative on it. So if you want to have it look very nice, you can stain these. We did purposely not, that's our whole uh, point behind this ray barrel. This is totally natural coloring, natural wood. This is just fire orange because of the heat process it goes through. But if you want to keep it looking very nice, you can put a preservative on it. A, a wood stain would, would make it look beautiful. Uh, and that's it.